Good evening, YouTube. How are you this evening? I'm pretty good. It's kind of late, and I wanted to go ahead and do this video. Um, what you're going to see here is a quick and dirty uh, clip that was shot in the training bays earlier by one of my students um, on how to properly and quickly fold a four-foot drop, or what is also commonly known as a steel tarp, uh, by yourself using the rub rail of the trailer to help you make it quicker. Um, the student that uh, shot the video uh, suggested it and said, you know, we ought to have this on my YouTube channel. And I said, okay, uh, if you want to shoot it, then I'll, I'll post it. And he did. So I appreciate that. I'm not going to give his name to protect the guilty. <laughs> and, uh, but basically... The, I give the instructions while I'm actually doing it to the students, uh, but I'm going to give them here real quick. This video is not like the eight foot drop or lumber tarp video. I'm not going to have a bunch of text descriptions on it because the video is really too short to, to go through all of that. Um, so really down and dirty and basic, what you do is you, um, after you get the tarp off the load and it's on the ground, uh, you get two bungees and you take one end of the tarp and you find the innermost D rings on that, on one end, and you put them together. And then you take one bungee and you loop it through, and then you take the um, from right to left, and then you take the other bungee and loop it from left to right. So the the points are pushing and looking at each other. Then you take the two bungees together and you run them up through the bottom of a stake pocket, and then away from where you're going to be standing. Um, and then put it back down through another stake pocket or on the other side of it and hook it to the rub rail. What that does is that has the rub rail, the bungees, holding the tarp up in the air uh, on one end. And then you walk to the other end, grab the D-rings on the very end of the tarp in the same seam line and hold them together. Now in the video, I kind of told the guys, okay, you put your, uh, don't put your finger through the D-rings to hold it. And I was kind of snappish in the video and I didn't mean to mean to be that way. And the reason you don't want to do that is when you're pulling on that tarp, if something, anything happens, say the bungees break or the wind catches the tarp or the something just possibly could go wrong, you could break or even pop your finger um, out of its socket. Um, and you really don't want to do that. So you want to think safety first. So instead of putting your finger or fingers through the D-rings, you just want to grasp the seam and, and hold it. And then once you do that, you once you, you pull back and you swing the tarp until one side lays flat, and then you just flop it over. And you'll see that in the video. It's really, really easy to do. And if you're alone, which is 99% of the time is a flat better, you're not going to have anybody there to help you uh, fold your tarps. And the four foot drop, um, is the easiest to fold by yourself if you use this particular method and that way you do it this way when you unfold the tarp it'll be it'll unfold perfectly every time some guys prefer to uh, take the tarp um, and lay it out flat on its outside and then fold the ends in and then kind of do some kind of kind of contrivance to roll it over and finish the folding it's folded the way it's folded because when you put the tarp on the load all you do is you pick one d-ring and then you flip it over and once you've got your center and then you just grab the other d-ring and pull and the tarp is completely laid out and it's perfect every time just the way we do it here so enjoy this video if you have any questions or comments uh, you know what to do all right first thing you do is you take your two, two bunches all right Find the first inside D-ring, hook it, right? You find the opposite one, hook that. Then, take the other bungee, go the opposite direction. So it locks it, you understand that? Come up to the rug rail, and then go through, stake pocket, all the way up. You pull the bungees back. Hook it to the rug rail, past, past the next tape pocket. Once you got that done, unfold the kink. It's just got to kink up. Always 
together. Then you come to the opposite end. You grab the same D ring. Down. Now, when you do this, you're going to be tempted to put your fingers through here. Do not do that. If that bungee breaks, that much tension, you'll pull your finger right off. Okay? So grab it. Pull. Get tension on it. And swing it back and forth until one side to the side beat. That side is flat. Lay it over. When you're done, the bolt should be on the bottom. And your D-rings should be on top. Then, unhook your D-rings, unhook your bunches. Lay it out. Make it flat. And then you're going to hold it. When you do that, make sure the outside run is on the outside, on top. Just tighten it up and roll it on. Okay, so I hope that that uh, kind of helps clear that up. Just like I said, real quick, that's the easiest way to uh, for one person to fold the four foot drop uh, tarp. Um, you know, especially you know being by yourself all the time it's just the easiest way to do it and uh, I'd like to thank the student who like I said will remain nameless on uh, on shooting that for me and uh, help me get this video because it would be otherwise very difficult to do uh, without somebody to hold the camera so until next time keep the shiny set up 73s and we'll talk later <laughs>